friends and welcome today we are going to discuss about imperative sentences imperative sentences what are imperative sentences imperative sentences are the sentences in which we may request order command suggestion or any other words in the imperative sentences we are going to discuss about the basic things are very important things which we must know let's see what is the structure of the imperative sentence in the imperative sentence we always use first form of verb or we can say that present form of verb but let me make it more clear for you we always use bfv what is bfv bfv means base form of verb we do not use es or s with the verb we do not use we only use for example we write eat we do not write eats it's incorrect and it's correct so this is the base form of the verb So the question raised over here: Why we always use the base form of verb? Why we do not use es or s over here? So guys, let's see. Actually, the subject of imperative sentence is obviously you, the second person. so that's why we do not use and we also do not use this subject over here we directly give uh, order command suggestion or we make the request over here let's see you with first form of verb and object but we do not mention you in the imperative sentences i have written some examples for you over here let's see close the door this is first form of verb with the object second kill the snake get out these are the three positive statements of imperative sentence let me discuss this is the negative sentence of imperative sentence we always use do not we do not use does not why why we always use do not close the door do not make a noise or a very general example you have seen in the public area it is written don't smoke well as i have told you before that the subject of imperative sentence is always you so with the you we do not use does not we always use do not so that is why for the second person we use do not we do not use does not so this is the imperative sentence negative structure so guys by this you can easily learn that what is the structure of the imperative sentences and sometimes what happen that imperative sentences imperative sentences very uh, person to person and it depends on the situation for example if i say someone is is smoking in the in the school so i say don't smoke it means that it is not a request it is order yes you are not allowed to smoke If someone is smoking in the public area, so I can ask him, sir. Actually, it is not allowed over here. So please, please don't smoke. Another example. For example, don't make a noise. When I heard the teacher comes in the class, he or she always say, "Guys, don't make a noise," and it is order for you. But if someone is saying, 
I am busy or I am working, so please don't make a noise. So in these sentences, you can see the difference that both the sentences are the same. But it depends on the situation that in what tone you are using the sentence. You are using the sentence, don't make a noise, it's an order. And the same one is, please don't make a noise. So both the sentences are the same, but it depends on the person or the situation that where you are using the sentence. So guys, this is the lecture for the imperative sentences. If you want to ask any question regarding this, you can. And further, I will tell you about more about the imperative sentences. Thank you very much.